preferred gods, Indian gods, uh, try to uh, make uh, our gods be the most worshipped in India. Um, the game is named Maharaja because each round, the Maharaja, uh, which is represented by this uh, blue pieces, blue piece, will visit one of these cities. At the end of each round, uh, the Maharaja will uh, reward the player who has built the most uh, pieces there. Uh, actually, not the most pieces, but the pieces with the most value, because shrines as a value of one and statues as a value of three. To build our pieces, we will uh, uh, we have to perform different actions. So in the physical game, there is a wheel for selecting the actions, but uh, online it was uh, pretty difficult to recreate it. So we have a hand of uh, uh, 10 different tiles, each one representing a specific action. An additional tile represents uh, this per two uh, icon, because it might happen that we want to perform the same action twice. In the physical game, these wheels have two different arrows, so you can point the arrows to the actions that you want to perform. The basic actions are pretty simple. Uh, the first one is uh, uh, changing the character that you have at the moment, and I'll explain you later how the characters work. This action says that you can build two shrines, uh, one inside a city and one wherever you want on the board. The third action is build one shrine with a coin of this count, and usually the shrine costs one coin each. The, third the fourth action is uh, you pay three coins to gain two uh, prestige points, which are the points uh, you use to win the game. Then the, the next action is building a statue with a discount of two coins, and the statue costs usually 12 coins if you build them in the city currently visited by the Maharaja, or 10 coins in any other city. Another action is simply gaining three coins. This action is changing the flag tiles on the Maharaja track. So if you take a look at the bottom part of the, uh, of the board, you see the Maharaja track. Of, on the Maharaja track, there is uh, different flag tiles, and each flag represents a city. And this will be the order uh, of, the vi of the cities visited by the Maharaja. Uh, we can, with this action, change the order of the flag tiles, try to make the Maharaja visit a city before another one. Uh, the last two actions are building one statue and one shrine without discounts. The last action is taking two shrines from the general supply. If we take a closer look to our uh, player board, each, uh, each player has a personal board with uh, seven statue uh, directly on the board. Start uh, starting eight shrines on the board, and then some shrines in a general supply. And we'll start the game with fifteen coins and three prestige points. As a very first thing in the game, we will uh, draw from the character pile seven characters actually we are playing in three players so we will use only six characters and these will be the characters uh, used inside the game at the beginning of the game uh, starting with a random first player each player will choose a starting character and will place that tile at the center of that of uh, their player board each character has a specific uh, number which is the initiative number. So during the action phase, players will take turns following the number depicted on the character card. So the number on the character card is pretty uh, powerful if you want to uh, perform your actions before the other players. Above uh, the numbers, there is a, 
uh, an icon, which is a specific ability for each character. So the character that we are going to use this game are the number four, which says you can pay two coins to gain one uh, prestige points or vice versa. So you can pay one prestige point to gain two coins. And you can do this exchange up to three times during your turn. The second character is the number three. Uh, and its power, its ability is taking one shrine from the general supply. The third character is the number 11. Uh, it says that you can move your priest without cost. The next character is the number 17. It says you can build uh, one shrine wherever you want on the board without paying it and uh, taking it directly from your general supply, not from your personal board. Another character, it's the number 10. It says that during the, uh, during the Maharaja uh, city uh, scoring, you have one uh, additional worship point. So even if you don't have uh, uh, your, your priest or any statues or any shrine inside that city, you still have one uh, worship point, which is pretty uh, important for the rewards given by the Maharaja. The last uh, character is the number six, which says that the statue you built in a city, in an external space, so not, not in the central space of that city, uh, worth one worship point more. Uh, during the city calculation, so uh, after each player has performed their two actions during the round, the Maharaja will calculate the city scoring for the city where it currently is, and uh, players will, re will receive different uh, rewards. So the player who has more worship points will get um, 12 coins, the second will get 9 coins, and the third will get 6 coins. In addition to that coins reward, if you have at least one worship point, you can take one of the uh, reward tokens uh, illustrated here uh, on the left of the, of the scoring chart. And each has a different uh, additional bonus that you can take uh, to add more bonuses to your uh, calculation. So basically, that's the uh, main rules of the game. So uh, before starting to play, there are, there are a few uh, setup decisions that we have to make. So let's start by uh, randomly pick a first player who will uh, decide which character they are going to choose. So if you, are, if you agree with me, I can say that uh, Jürgen, our host, can uh, Sure. Uh, be, can be the first uh, player to pick the character, and then we will go in a clockwise uh, direction. All right. I'm making a, a small zoom on the character tiles area. And I just wanted to say, Simone, feel free to give us all the suggestions you want <laughs> during the game until you are here with us. <laughs> this will be much appreciated, <laughs> at least for me. <laughs> I'll take this one. So you are taking the six, uh, which gives you one additional worship points during the city scoring. And it also has a pretty low uh, number. So no, no, no. I am no? taking a six that gives me additional points for statue. Oh, for the external statue, sorry. Yes. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, Elisa, uh, are you going to be second? Let's let's do count counterclockwise direction. Oh, as you prefer. I yeah. guess I could. Yeah, ladies, ladies first. Oh, thank you. So I will go for uh, for her. So I will not pay the movement of the priest. 
which is pretty uh, powerful. And it's the 11. So you are going to play after uh, Jurgen. And for the first uh, phases of the game, let's say I'm going to, well, let's try this. A high numbered uh, tile with a powerful uh, power. So I'm, I'm taking the 17, which gives me the ability to Sorry. Two, two, two. Uh, build a shrine, taking it directly from the general supply. During the game, as I uh, as I told before, we can exchange uh, the character the character that we are using it, and when we perform that action, we can decide to pick a tile uh, available on the general supply, or even pick a character that is currently used by another player. So after the, this first uh, uh, decision, now following the uh, number uh, on the character tiles, uh, we must place on the board our first four shrines. So now it's the good time to explain a little bit uh, what are the shrine uh, use apart from uh, the city scoring? So when you build a shrine, you can build it inside a city to adding value uh, for the city in scoring, but you can also build shrines on the roads depicted on the board. So each road, basically each road has two villages and each village has two shrine space. The, the shrine on the roads are used by the priest that starts at the center of the board to move along the roads. Because when a priest wants to move along a road, he can move only if there are shrines along that road. In addition, if the shrines are of the same color of the priest uh, which is moving, that priest doesn't pay any cost. But if a priest uh, go through a village where there is only shrine of other players, that player must pay one coin to each other players. So Elisa has put the first shrine. Is that correct? No, no, I just wanted to help you ah. with an example. <laughs> okay. I think Jürgen is starting because he has the... He lower, has the, the lower number, that's correct. And during the first phase, it's uh, uh, pretty useful to see uh, what will be the next uh, uh, cities visited by the Maharaja. So in the current situation, the first city visited by, by the Maharaja will be the green one. Uh, and then we have the pink and the light blue. So it will be useful for arts player to create uh, a, a route uh, that our priest can, uh, can go through to reach those cities if we want to build statues and shrine inside the cities. Because to build pieces inside the city, your priest must be inside that city. Okay. So I place one and then the, around the clock we go? Yes, yes. exactly. And then, we, then we follow the, um, the number of the characters. So the first the yellow right. shrine is placed. Now it's red turn. OK. And go for the long road. The long road on the left. <laughs> okay. And I will put mine here just to continue the road started from Jurgen. These are from our res not from our reserve uh, from on the board and not from the reserve that we have to take them. No? 
exactly. from the board. Yes, we start with eight shrines on the board and we pick four of those shrines for the starting setup. Okay, so it's to me. Yeah, another shrine that allows priests to reach the green city. So another red shrine who complete this road. So now priest can uh, go from the center to those to that green city. And of course, depending on the color of the priest is moving, uh, the cost will be different. So I will put another shrine on the on the on the on the Oh, sorry, I have to pick it first. I will put it uh, here. So on the road that goes from the center to the yellow uh, city. Jürgen has placed this third shrine on the right road that uh, go, goes to the pink city, which is which should be the second city visited. Okay, Elisa. I've placed one uh, going to the orange city. Okay, so I will put another one here again so it's the last last one okay uh, and I will go here. Okay, and I will put mine in a village already occupied, I guess, trying to pay less for the movement. So let's do, sorry, I have to, I will go here on this road. Okay, so the starting uh, decision has been made. Uh, so now we can select our action. I haven't explained that before, but uh, at the beginning of each round, uh, the first phase that we perform is the Maharaja phase. So we take the first flag on the left of the Maharaja track, we move it to the top right of the track, covering a number which will be the round number. And then we move the Maharaja to the city uh, represented by that flag. That means that during the, this round, the Maharaja will uh, count this city. And the Maharaja cannot be moved in any other way. The second thing to do is to uh, select in our action, and uh, this will be a, a secret phase. So we we'll, we all both we all uh, select uh, two tiles from our end. We will place them uh, near our player board, and then following the turn order uh, given by the character tiles, we will uh, reveal our tiles and perform the actions depicted there. So, 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 now we can uh, bluff, uh, say to other players, whatever we want. <laughs> and I think I'm going to... Mm. So, Should statue is 12 that. in the main city, 10 in the others. And exactly. shrine is one. Yes, exactly. Yeah. All right. I've chosen my first action. 
and then I choose a second one. I'm going to set this power, which is pretty strong. Okay, so I select this one. Do you move your priest first, and then you do your actions, or? You, well, the movement of, the... of the, the priest movement is pretty uh, free. Uh, so you can move the priest before the action, during the action, or after the action. Because but some it's actions, during for your example, turn. Uh, during your turn, yes. Yeah. So, oh. for example, there are some actions that allows you to build uh, two pieces. And you can move the priest between uh, the two uh, building actions. Okay. But I can move as many times as I want. Uh, so, for exactly. example, I can move from one city to another and then again to another one. Exactly. Right? Perfect. Correct. And as I, if I remember correctly, this is one of the uh, main mechanic that uh, Simone loved about this game, the free movement of uh, the priest and the connection between building, building pieces in the cities and the priest movement. It's a very uh, integrated mechanism, but uh, it also forces the player to make very tactical, but also strategic decision uh, when they built shrines in, in the roads. Is that also correct? Pulls, uh, a lot of interaction between the player. Also. So you have to react to the other player move. Yeah, because, uh, because villages inside the road only have two spaces, uh, and especially when you play in four players, the spaces uh, run out very quickly. <laughs> So if you don't want to uh, uh, be in a situation where you have to pay a lot for your movement, yeah, you have to uh, build very quickly the shrines on, on the roads. Okay, so I have chosen my tiles. I think Jürgen has chosen his style. Okay, so I will reveal my two. <laughs> Is that correct, Jürgen? Have you chosen? Yes, I put yes. them uh, next to my board, yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I put them not in the, wrong, in the right position. Okay, one moment. Um, so since uh, uh, Jürgen is uh, uh, the First player guy. with the lower character uh, uh, tiles, he I can now here. reveal uh, the, the action tile he has chosen. I can zoom those tiles for you. So he has chosen building a statue with a discount of two coins. And the second action is building two shrines, one of which must be inside the city. And of course, you can decide, Jürgen, the order of the action. You can perform one before the other or the other way. Okay. I will be doing the shrines first. Okay. So I will... Take it, take it, take it. Put one outside the city, so I'll put it here. Yes, on a road. And one inside the city, putting it here. Okay, to build a shrine inside the city, your priest mm -hmm. must be there. So, uh, so uh, ideally, before building that shrine, you must, uh, you should move your priest. But uh, uh, but then I have to, I lose one coin. I can't build one shrine first and then the other one? Yes. yes. So, so I build that one so that I only pay one to... Elisa? Exactly. Because well, here I pass yellow, 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 red. Exactly. And I come over here. Exactly. And, then so, I, so. and then I put down the other one. So now okay, I have to so give a coin to Elisa, I guess. You will, you will pay a coin to Elisa and you will pay two coins for building the shrines. Yes, so I pay three. Well, first I give her one. or so, No, she just does plus. 
Yeah, you, yes, just, uh, exactly. you can just remove the coins from your board and Elisa will add one coin to her spot, to her board. Okay. And then I'll build a statue and that costs me 10. Because you are going to build a statue inside the city currently visited by the Maroja, usually it costs 12, you are performing the, the action with a discount of 2, so yes, you will pay 10. I'm going with a little zoom inside the city uh, to explain that every city has uh, different uh, spaces to build the, the statue in. Uh, the central space worth three uh, worship points, and then we have two external spaces with some bonuses. So you are placing the, the, the statue in the external space with the bonuses, is that correct? Yes. Okay, so the bonus is two prestige points. So you can add the two prestige points to your personal board. And now your turn is over. So you have performed both actions. You have paid the cost, gained the prestige points, and now it's Elisa's turn. Perfect. So I revealed my two actions. I will build a statue and a shrine, and then the, the two shrines, one in the city and one outside the city. Okay, so, so no first, discount for you. You pay the full amount, but you will build <laughs> four pieces in the same uh, in the same action. Yes, the um, yes, the fact is the the character that I have that I do not have to pay the cost for moving. So this helps me to reach this uh, this goal. City. So first of all, I move to the city with my priest. Great. I will uh, build the statue here, and I will place it over the bonus for three coins. So basically, uh, I pay 12, but I get three. So I will pay nine. Correct. Okay, sorry. So you don't I'm... have to be able to pay first, or can you sub subtract it? Or do you have to be able to pay the 12 first and then receive three? Yeah, yes, usually, uh, yeah, usually you must pay uh, first to build, but she di she did that. She has enough uh, money. Uh, it's just yeah. a theoretical question. Yeah, usually you you pay uh, for the action you are performing first, and then if you receive bonuses, you take the bonuses. So I'm going to, I'm going to build uh, one shrine here with the first action, and okay. so this cost me one coin as well. And then I will go with the second action and I will build another shrine here inside the city. And I will uh, build the other shrine instead outside the city. So I will build it. Um, here. Okay. Okay. So I have to pay two additional coins. Okay. So just as a reminder, now in this city, uh, as a reminder of the worship points here, we have uh, Jürgen, which uh, who has uh, an external statue, uh, which has uh, which gives he, gives him two points, then a shrine for one point and then a pr the priest for one point so i forgot to say the priests uh, also has a value of one during the calculation so he has a, a total of uh, four but he has uh, the character that says that his external statue has a, has a value of three so now in this moment he has five as a as a total value same as elisa who has one external statue for two points, and then uh, two shrines and the... the yes, the you are right. I totally forgot the, <laughs> the character of you again, so I was I did not. confident. <laughs> he didn't, yeah. Uh, and 
in addition to that, in case of a tie between players, uh, the player who has the lower number on the character wins the tie. Wee. <laughs> so if, if, if I am able to uh, reach six value there, I will win mm -hmm. that uh, uh, city scoring, but uh, it's pretty hard for me because it will cost a lot of money. So my actions are uh, building one shrine with a discount and then building one statue and one shrine. But first of all, I will activate my character ability that says I will build a shrine directly from my uh, general supply and I can place it wherever, whenever, uh, where I want. So inside the city, inside the road, uh, inside the city without having the priest there. So it's a pretty powerful uh, uh, character. Even, uh, even without, without the priest's presence. Even without the priest, yeah. So it's just a free shrine uh, for you. Yeah, that is uh, serious. So, well, uh, I, I, have to, I have to decide if I want to uh, play something in advance for the future rounds. Uh, let's see, the next will be the blue one, okay. So I'll build a shrine here, and then I move my priest here. So with my uh, first action, I will build a statue and a shrine. I will build a statue in this blue city, uh, so the cost will be 10. And I just have to decide if I want to build it in the central space or in an external space. Uh, both bonuses are pretty powerful. The first says, two shrines from the general supply. Uh, yes, I'm going for that one. So I'm taking a, a statue from my board. I flip it and I put it on that external space, which gives me two shrine from the general supply. Uh, very, very difficult, this one and two. And then I have to build one shrine still, uh, which is going to be inside this city again. So I will pay uh, 10 and 11. So, for a total of 8, minus, minus, So 15 minus 11 is four, sorry. <laughs> and then my second action is building a shrine with, with a cost, with a discount of one. But before doing that, I'm going to... Uh, no, I'm going to build the shrine on a road. So again, I'm going to build a shrine here on this road and then i will move my priest inside this green city which gives you one point which gives me the the the, le the the minimal point to uh, to reach the rewards so now all the actions have been performed uh, and the maraja will uh, uh, will uh, perform will activate the city scoring phase so uh, as we have already uh, calculated, um, Jürgen is the first player, Elisa is the second player, and I am the last player on the uh, 
on, on the city scoring. So um, Jürgen will get 12 coins, Elisa nine coins, and uh, I will get six coins. So we can uh, add this value on our uh, on our player boards. In addition to that, uh, also uh, following the, the classification, so Jürgen first, Elisa second, and me third, we can choose one of the available reward uh, tokens. Um, I remind that uh, only the first four uh, rewards uh, from the bottom of these tracks are available. Oh, so yeah. you can see all the eight rewards tiles, but you can pick only one of the first four uh, uh, tokens. So in this case, they are the Maharani token, which gives you the Maharani uh, token. Uh, so you can use another character ability for the next round. Instead of your own. Additionally to your own, right? Additional. additional, yeah, in addition to your own. So you will basically have two abilities for the next round. And it's from those who are available or those in the game? Those available uh, on, on the general supply. So you can put the, the Marani token on one of those three tiles there. Okay. Uh, then we have uh, three shrines from the general supply. Building one shrine uh, without paying it and without uh, the need uh, for the priest to be inside the city or three coins. Hmm. It's a tough decision, I know. <laughs> it is. Yeah, the Maharani is pretty flexible because uh, uh, it, it gives you an additional uh, ability, uh, but still uh, uh, refill uh, the, the shrines on your board from the from the supply. It's pretty useful. Mm -hmm. Also, gaining coins is pretty useful. So, what do I do with the? Uh, I put it here. Uh... Yeah, you you just uh, move the tiles on the free spaces on top, and then we will move all the tiles downwards. So you will take three coins. Elisa, what, what's, what's your choice? So uh, I will take this one. So I build a shrine without uh, having the priest and neither paying cost, right? Exactly. And this is my last shrine, and I can build it immediately, correct? You, you, you immediately build it, exactly. Okay, so I will go for the pink city. Okay. Perfect. Done. Okay, so, 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 so. Let's do this. I'll take the Maharani. So I will move the Maharani reward tile up. And I put the Maharani token on this character, if it's correct, is that one? Yes. It's the character that gives uh, one additional worship point uh, during the city scoring phase. Even if you're not there, yeah. Even if my priest is not there. Yeah. So it's one, one additional worship point. So now the second round can uh, start. Uh, basically, we take uh, back the, the tiles we have performed in our ends. We move, uh, we move down all the rewards uh, tiles. Now this is my action. Thanks. And then uh, to start the next round, the first thing is to move the city flag and the Maharaja piece. So the next city visited by the Maharaja will be the pink one. 
And I'm on top, yeah. So I move the pink one to the second place. And I move the Maharaja in the pink city. If I take, okay, so here. I don't know if I why I built the statue in the blue in the blue city and not in the in the pink, but that's okay. <laughs> okay, so this is this is the pink one. Okay. Oh I yeah, it's it's it was a super bluff. Okay, oh, I made I the it... same mistake as you, Giuliano, because I thought that. <laughs> no, no, no. Okay. You're right. This is the pink one. And this is the pink one. Okay. This is the red one. Okay, so yes, normally the in the game you see better also the the design uh, of the city. In this case, uh, on the screen is not that you have to zoom recognizable. In. But you were right. Okay, but uh, yeah, I, I, I have enough shrine to move uh, pretty easily there. Okay, so now action selection. Uh, I forgot what this one does. What is the tile with the two cities on again? With the with the arrow? This uh, one? What does it do? Okay. Yeah, that action is take one city flag on the Maharaja track and move it three uh, spaces back. Okay. So it means that you will uh, the, 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 this city will be will be scored before the other so advance on the on the order uh -huh. but you can't do that on the one that is visiting now i imagine no no exactly, exactly. once the once the maraja is moved at the, at the beginning of the round it cannot be moved again you basically change the order for the next round okay so So yeah, it will be a, a tough round, and we are only <laughs> at the second round because the Maharaja is pretty far on the mountains, and there is no route uh, on the mountain with with shrine there. So yeah, if we want to build something there, it will be a a, a tough choice. But Elisa has already one shrine there because. Oh, it, she has used uh, the, the ability of uh, the reward token. And well, also Giuliano <laughs> will do that because of its uh, of his ability, right? Uh, it, it depends if, if 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 you steal the character from yeah, me. Yeah, if you still have the character. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're right. Yeah, Simone, we should remind that, that rules after I play, not not before. But yeah, it's, it's the it's the secret rules. <laughs> okay, uh, okay. The, the timing about this changement of the character is very very interesting in the game. Yes, also because if I remember correctly. Uh, once you change the character, you can before use the uh, the ability of your character, and then additionally use the new one. Correct. Exactly. Correctly. So <laughs> it's it's a strong action mm -hmm. in a specific moment of the game uh, can be crucial to exchange the this. character. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. As, uh, uh, an additional suggestion, especially if you have a low number on your character, so you are you are pretty sure that you are going to perform uh, your action first. Yes, it's a pretty powerful action. God damn. I'm having trouble with my hand. And I also have some trouble with the coins because I, have only, I only have 10. So what should I do? I can place this, which is 10, but then how? Oh. Hmm. So thank you again, Simone, for your wise advice. <laughs> OK. So what am I going to do? What am I going to do? Yes, I'm going to build uh, 
lot of shrooms. Okay, I have. Ah, here it is. Uh, Okay, it was a tough decision, but I made it. <laughs> okay. Especially because I, I have lost two tiles and it was out of the table. So <laughs> it, 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 I, I, I apologize to the viewers that I zoom out the view from the table to <laughs> take those tiles back. But here they are. So Jurgen have chosen, Elisa have chosen, I have chosen. All right. So Jurgen will be the first. He reveals happiness for you, I guess. Yeah, character changing action and also one statue and one shrine. So I'm gonna need your character, my friend, Giuliano. Okay, no problem. It's a, a, a pleasure. <laughs> so, you can give it back to me afterwards, I guess. Yes, and uh, of so. course, it, for the for this uh, calculation, you don't have the uh, ability of your characters. No. Uh, actually, yeah. it's not. Uh, an exchange, a direct exchange of character. Oh, you really Basically, have... pick my character, and then your character will become available again, and I can decide uh, oh, which one to, you take to take to take one of the, the the available characters. So it could be yours, but it can be also another character. Okay, so now I can use your character, my character. Yes, to you you are use one from the reserve. Actions. Exactly. But yes, here. I think I'm going to take yours because it's a pretty powerful one and also allows me to play before Elisa now. Um, <laughs> um, what I wanted to do was... So with yes, my... with, with, with your new character, you can take a shrine directly from your supply yeah. and build it, which you already I did. done. You did, and then, you, you place it on the roads there, and then another on the roads. Okay. So then I move my priest. I have to pay one to one of you. I have to pay one to the blue one. Yes. So I'll give you each one. Well, okay. actually you should pay two to the blues to the blue and one to the red because when oh, you, you have to pay both when you go one? through yeah when you go yes. through a village you yes. pay ah. all the all the players who have a shrine there Ooh, I did not know. so minus so three I, for me i'll take uh, uh, two coins then minus one for my shrine that i made and minus 12 and then you build your statue and your shrine. The shrine I already placed to get there. Oh, on the road, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so can one, someone explain to me what this one does? Sure, I'm zooming in. Uh, oh yeah, this is a, a, a bird token. So you can take a board token, which is a, a free extra action for your next round. So uh, once you have a bird token, during your turn, turn, you can spend a bird token to perform an action of your choice. So one of the nine available action of the, on the wheel. Okay. And, but uh, you, you can spend only one per turn. 
Okay. And accept the ex ex changing character action, I think. You can't, uh, yes. use, the, you can't use the character exchange. You, exactly. Uh, with the bird token, exactly. Okay. And the other bonus on the external uh, is, is one, coin. Uh, one coin and one shrine from the general supply. Okay. Something went wrong with my money. I think something went horribly wrong with my money. I have now very a lot of money. And this is not correct. I should have been at two and now at three. So minus twenty-three. It's not possible. And uh... You are building in the in the space with the bonus of one coin and one shrine. Yes. Is that correct? That is correct. Yeah, I okay. can't afford the bird for the moment. I'm afraid, so I'm leaving that one to you. Okay, so in, now it's my turn, and another great thing has happened in the in uh, during Jurgen' turn that is that I gained two unexpected coins for uh, for him using my <laughs> shrines. So uh, I'm going to reveal my action, which is uh, twice building two shrines. And uh, if I if I uh, if I if I would would know that I had gained those two coins, I could have built a statue. But uh, I didn't, so uh, that's okay. Uh, so yes, I'm trying to build something there. So now you're gonna have three uh, of value for the worship there. I have one. So so yes, I think I'm going to uh, build two shrines, and I'm going to build one on the road. Help, okay. One on the road. So I'm going to pay just one to you, but I I, I don't want to pay Jorgen back. <laughs> <laughs> ah, yes. But I'm poor, I, I'm poor. <laughs> yes. How many? I, you have three. Hmm. Tough you decision. can pay me, Giuliano, if you want. No, but you don't have fine there, so yeah. Ah, no, okay. Okay, so <coughs> yes, right. you you can take one coin, Jurgen. So I have paid two because I just oh, but no, I, I, there is another yellow here. Okay, so I pay one coin to you for this shrine, mm -hmm. but I'm going to build my second shrine there, so you only gain one coin. For me, using only one of your uh, <laughs> one of your shrine, and I'm going to build it here in the central road, and then with my second action, I built two more shrines inside the city. So one and two. And I will pay two more coins. And my turn is over. Okay, so it's to me. I will build a statue with a minus two, and I will exchange the city tiles of the Maharaja. Okay. So. <laughs> Poor blue. <laughs> <laughs> Poor blue. Poor blue. No, One I... day the Maharaja will go there. <laughs> not or tomorrow. <laughs> or not. Who knows? <laughs> so, uh, first of all, I will uh, exchange the city tiles. So I move the orange one, one, two, and three. The orange. 
but yes. that, uh, that's a very bad move. Orange, where is the orange? Okay, it's here. Where only my shrines are built to reach. <laughs> so, for the moment, I try to monopolize there. So are you not going to join us on, on that? I'm thinking, I'm thinking about that because, uh, well, I think I will join you anyway. Losing completely a uh, scoring is a, is a yes, choice. It, yes, it's not a good choice. I agree with Simone. But no, well, I, I'm not going to lose completely the, the scoring because anyway, I have one shrine there. Yeah, exactly. Sorry, I, so, I forgot your uh, your uh, shrine that you built last turn. So basically, I think that we'll go with my plan to conquer the <laughs> the orange one. <laughs> yes, exactly. So I will move there, and I will build the statue, and then I can move again, my priest. Am I correct, Simone? Yes. Or, uh, yes. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're right. I will right. move back without paying. And I move there. Okay. So, are you sure? I ex I explain to the viewers. Basically, yes, uh, because you are going to break the tie anyway on your uh, because you have the lower value. Character. But anyway, anyway, I have a four there. Yeah. Because I have one priest, two shrines, and an extra value given by the character that I'm using with the Maharani. And uh, uh, Jurgen has uh, uh, three, three, and you have uh, one. one. So even if you move the priest, you will going to be the last in the in the city calculation. Okay, so you suggest to me just to leave the priest where it was. I, I suggest to, to leave the priest where it's best for you. So... I'm giving you the, the, the option. So uh, moving the, the, the yes. priest there in this moment is, is no, has no I'm value sure. for you. And, uh, and still, uh, it's not sure that you are going to have the character for moving for free, <laughs> for free next the priest round. next turn, next round. As we have seen so previously. It's, it's, a, it's a strategic decision for the next round for you to, for you to yes. do. Thank so, yeah. you. I will take the suggestion. <laughs> okay. So you leave the, the priest in the orange city. Where it was, exactly. Okay. Okay. My right of time. So, yes, the, uh, the actions uh, are over and the Maharaja will reward. So I think that I'm going to be the first uh, this time, because uh, I have that extra point uh, given by the Maharani. Mm -hmm. So, going back to the chart, I'm gaining 12 coins, Jurgen 9, and Elisa 6 coin. 6 coins. Yes. So, plus 12 in addition, I will be the first to choose the reward token that for this turn are three shrines from the supply. Pretty useful for me at the moment because I have only one shrine. Uh, but th th this is the most uh, embarrassing and tough reward <laughs> tile, uh, which <laughs> says that all the other players must pay two coins. And uh, just for just for my personal information, how many coins do you have, guys? Uh, Thirteen. I have twelve. Yeah, so it will be a, a good one. But no, I, I will be. Also, this one is pretty useful. Now I'm going to uh, make some uh, uh, structural decision, as Simone uh, calls them. So something that, uh, uh, let's say, it's, it's a, basically a free action for me. So I'm going to take three uh, shrines from my general supply. So Jurgen is the second to choose. I'm going to take a coin and a prestige. 
One okay. call and one prestige token. Elisa? Uh, well, there's an exchange that it's one to one, correct? So one coin to one uh, victory. Yeah, you can pay one coin to gain one prestige point up to three times. Okay, I'm not that rich, but I think that I will do that anyway. Because, because points are really because you, you did game. remember your last game. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just just as a uh, I I have a story with, with my last with my last game with Elisa. Uh, we were playing uh, the, the the game during the development uh, before the last. Uh, Essen spiel, I guess. We were no, we were in Nuremberg. No, we were going, <laughs> and we were going to to present the game in uh, Les Nuremberg Fair, and uh, one night we were <laughs> having this game with uh, with Lorenzo, our uh, partner, and uh, Elisa and Simone you, as well. Uh, Simone I mean, as well, yeah. 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 Yes. Elisa had this character that says you can exchange coin for prestige points. Mm -hmm. And uh, she was continuing to spend prestige points to gain coins because <laughs> she wanted to 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 build more uh, statues and shrines. <laughs> and at a certain point, uh, while all the other players uh, were having like twenty or uh, twenty five prestige points in in the in the middle of the game, she had uh, like two prestige points. <laughs> and, <laughs> We just we just saying, well, Elisa, you 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 do you remember <laughs> that you win the game with prestige points, not with coins? <laughs> say, yes, I know, but I need coins. I really need them badly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I can remember this, and uh, yes. But Who it's very it? satisfying. It's very satisfying to build these statues. <laughs> I was that okay, happy. So we have chosen our rewards. I'm uh, moving down the rewards token for the next round. And basically, we can take our tiles back in our ends. Okay. And of course, the Maharani token that I used last turn also goes back to its place so i won't use uh, uh, a double character ability this turn uh, and the end of round phase is done and as a first phase of, of the third round uh, well first of all we must move these tiles right to the right to avoid any empty space between flag tiles. Then we move the orange flag to the top right. We are now on the, the third round and the Maharaja, as unexpected by me, will visit the orange city where Elisa has already four worship points with a central statue and a priest. So again, we will uh, choose our action tile. And as a secret phase, now the tense will be high. No more chatting. <laughs> OK, what do I do? have? Hmm. 
Uh, also, the road is long and uh, full of uh, danger. <laughs> <laughs> I will. One, one, okay, so two, thirteen, va bene. Okay, yeah, spending all. So you go first, Giuliano. I go first, uh, yes. Uh, uh, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yes, I have enough money. Okay, Elise have chosen, yes. yes. Everybody has chosen. I'm going to be first, and I'm going for a straight strategy, building, building, building. <laughs> so Spend that I, money. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> now that I have them, because... I, <laughs> so it's uh, two shrines, and then one shrine and one statue. So I'm going to perform first the, uh, oh, let me check. Uh, sorry, Lisa, I move your statue here. Okay. okay, so I'm going to perform first shrine plus shrine. So my first shrine will be, uh, on this road where Elisa have already two shrines, if I if I am able to pick the shrine, okay, okay, and it's here. So and I pay one, so it's minus one. Then I move the priest from here and i pay one to jurgen uh -huh. then nothing 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 and one to elisa so i pay two and you both gain one good news which i hope it's been appreciated <laughs> really appreciate then i build my second shrine for the first action inside the city and then I built one statue and one shrine. So I will build the statue inside the city, which cost 12 and the shrine cost 31 uh, again. So I will pay 13. 13. So it's minus 12 first and then minus one. And I will build one shrine again inside the city. And the statue again in the space that gives me uh, three shrine from the supply. So I will flip the statue. Hop. And hop. And my turn and here. It's you, Elisa. Um, so it's to me. Mm -hmm. Okay, my actions are building a statue with a discount of two and then taking two shrines from the general supply. So first I take the two shrines. And then <clears throat> I will move firstly to the blue city to, to build a statue there. So I will pay eight to be there. Minus two, six. No, I think, no, it's uh, 10 minus two. Yeah, but uh, it's 10 minus two, yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yes. It's, uh, so if you want, I can pay only six. <laughs> For me, it's okay. I think that if Simone agrees. Yeah, I I'm showing to the to our viewers the recap of the cost 
depicted on the board. Uh, so the statue where the Maharaja is costs 12. The statue in any other city costs 10. All the shrines cost one. As you are seeing, as you see on the board, there are two empty spaces because in the physical game, but also here on Tabletopia, uh, you have more tiles that you can add in those spaces that will change the rules for the game you are playing. So basically there are six tiles that change the rules uh, for the gameplay and uh, uh, four or six tiles that change the end of game uh, victory points rules. So you are, we are playing right now a, a standard game with the basic rules, but there are a lot of ways to uh, slightly, or sometimes in a very uh, dramatic mode, changing, change the basic rules of the game uh, to add variety uh, to the standard rules. So I'm done. I just uh, went back with my priest to the Orange City. Okay. okay. So now it's Jurgen Lestern. I think so uh, I'm taking two shrines from my personal supply. And also, you have the power to build one shrine for free. Yeah. So, first, I'm going over here. I pay one to Juliano. Yes, I saw you used one of my shrine, so I'm adding one coin to my reserve. Then I build my statue for eight. So again, you go for a, a, a strategic decision, pay a low cost for a statue. And I place it over here. Oh. Why are you not standing up? Yeah, you should. You uh, if you flip. press F, exactly. Right. You flip, flip it. Oh. Why? Why have to do press F? F, F. exactly. Okay, and I I got I think two coins, and uh, this and uh, uh, that's and why I thought it was six. <laughs> now I remember. And one of those. Then I use my ability to yes. take a shrine and put it over here. And then I move my priest over here to have one oh. point. Yeah, wonderful move. Not, not bad, not bad. Simone agrees. Approved <laughs> <laughs> by the designer. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you, you joined the party of the Orange City, and uh, let's check the majority here. So the red player has a central statue, which worth three, three worship points, and uh, the priest for a total of four. The yellow player has just one priest for a total of one, and the blue player has uh, uh, three, actually, for the external spaces, because I have now those ability plus two shrines plus the priest so i will be the first uh, in this city scoring elisa will be the second and jürgen will be the third so okay. again 12 coins for the first nine for the second and six for the third Again, I will be the first one to choose a, a reward token, and I think that now it's the right moment to choose this one. All the other player discard two coins. Mm. Aggressive. <laughs> okay, then it's quite automatic my choice because i will take the the, the three coins. coin <laughs> okay so i now have a shrine where i can that i can put anywhere from my reserve is that correct 
from from the general supply yes or no 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 this is one is from the reserve from your personal uh, from your board from my board yes i'll take the points okay. jurgen is collecting a lot of points uh, it's a strategy as another i guess <laughs> <laughs> I haven't scored one point from the beginning of the game. I'm trying to use your strategy, Lisa. Not, <laughs> not, caring, not caring about victory points. Yes, it's so obvious uh, doing bench, victory bench, bench. points. So let's try something new. <laughs> but we have started with three, so I think that I made a mistake because I should be at six at this no. point. Uh, did you uh, did you pay uh, three for three a clients? Large, uh, yes. yourself one uh, higher than that? Uh? If you allow me, if you agree okay, with so Finally, it, it, it came the time for the blue city. <laughs> Amazing. Who would have thought? Yeah, sometimes uh, it, it happens many times uh, in, 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 uh, in, in this game that a city will will never be visited by the Maharaja. So, for example, uh, we are still well. We we can play uh, up to four uh, uh, rounds, but I remember to all the players that the 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 game can end before the seven rounds if a player builds the last statue of from their player board. So okay. it might happen that the game ends before the seven rounds. So the blue. Now we have Elisa with red, and me and Jorgen with the yellow. And again, the changing character might be might arrive. Okay. Okay, I'm thinking, just give me one more second. Where is my priest? My priest is here, okay. My priest is here. Moving. Okay, so I'm going to use this one. And Again, me. Mm -hmm. Okay. I gave you a wonderful gift with that character. So <laughs> I'm going to move the city flags and build a statue and a shrine. Oh, so I'm really very really happy to play after you. <laughs> 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 and I think you're good as well. <laughs> it's true. So. I'm thinking to move back the orange city where I have a lot of pieces. Hmm. So one, two, three. Oh, you can uh, visit. Uh, you can visit the city twice, or what? Yeah, yes. If you if you if you move uh, the city flex, well, it, of course. Uh, now it's three rounds ahead. Uh, so we will see. Of course, you can move other city flags before. So uh, let, let's say I put some pressure on you, on the on the on the orange city, 
And then I have uh, uh, build a statue and build a shrine. And I think I'm going uh, to the to the to the to the to the yellow city. With my priest, I'm moving one using the red and again one using the red. So it will be two coins to Elisa. Good news. <laughs> and then I'm building a statue for 10 and a shrine for one, so it's minus 11. And I'm building the shrine there. Oh, very, very hard. Okay. One shrine and also one statue. Let's see if we have good bonuses here. Oh, take a look. <laughs> we new have city movement. New city flags movement. Uh, <laughs> what a combination. Unex unexpected. Uh, <laughs> let's try. <laughs> So I will put there. So uh, again, the orange. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh. Sorry. I'm curious to know if you're going to move one or two steps. Two steps. Okay. Okay, uh, and I'm done. Okay. So, unexpected change in the city order. <laughs> so. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. I do another one last thing. One last thing is to move my priest. You're going to give money to the red again? Ah, uh, yes. But only one. Thank you. Only one, because then I will use my own shrines. But don't be shy if you want. You can pass as many times as you want. <laughs> yeah, because I have uh, a premonition that one point more will be will be good. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, so Elisa build, builds a statue with a discount and then builds two shrines. Okay, so I will, probably I will change, uh, change a little bit my plan. Um, so, okay, my plan was to go to the um, yellow city, but I think, I don't think this make much sense at the moment. So I will try I, I to... Remember, I remember a thing for the future because uh, at the end of the game, uh, players yes. will score additional victory points uh, depending on the statue they build. And also for each city, there will be a, 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 a final scoring for the majority. Okay. Uh, so building also in cities where... Uh, where the marja ready. won't visit uh, might worth points at the end of the game. Okay. Okay, so first of all I will move to the um, light blue city and uh, I will build a statue there, so I will pay 10 coins. Okay. Okay. Then okay. After I will move, so you have the yes, 
your statue even if you are in the border counts as yeah at the moment i have a three plus one mm -hmm. it's four but you have three uh four five six if your priests stay there mm -hmm. but basically only with your statue you have a, a five okay so basically i will move back there I will build a first shrine inside the city here, and th then I will build a, a, another shrine here. Okay, just okay. to anticipate a little bit. And then I move back. My priest also have to pay two. Two to the, two to the blue. No, no, I do yeah. not pay the passage. Ah, yeah, you don't pay, yeah, of course. She, yeah. she has free passage, but she yeah, still has to pay that for the shrines. Yes, what a pity. <laughs> So Jürgen, you can reveal your actions. Yeah. And also this uh, this mechanism of a secret action selection and then revealing the actions only when it's your turn creates a lot of tense and pressure to other players because they they don't know what what, what you are going to do. So Changing sure the characters and building a statue with a discount. And of course, you, you should uh, use your current character ability before giving it away. That's the plan. Yeah. The question is, am I going to conquer the blue or am I going to invest? Well, uh, yeah, if you are going to build another external statue there and uh, uh, the you are going to take back your character, uh, the character yeah. you have before, you are going to have a four, uh, four worship points for the, uh, uh, for the statues, plus one for the priest that, uh, that is going to be there. And... Uh, you will have a lower number uh, character. No, I will even have more, I think. I will have six and a priest that is seven, and she will only have six. So I will be even bigger because I have two external statues. <laughs> exactly. yeah, which is, uh, sorry, I, I was calculating four for the external statues, but yeah, you have one more for each. So it will six plus the, 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 the priest seven, and it will be mathematically uh, a winning position, yes. So I'm going to do that, I fear. So first of all, you move your priest from, your, from the orange yeah. uh, Sorry, city, yeah. but you move it for free. Mm -hmm. Then you build a shrine. A statue. Shrine free. For, for free from outside. Question and is where? That will last too much. And you can build it in any city also. So even uh, a, exactly one, uh, one totally blank city could be a, a good option for the, for the end game. I'm going to put my... But also, in the yeah, yellow. also one, one city that is going to be uh, counted next. And then uh, I'm going to take my character back. Okay, so... And uh, remember to pay your statue. Yeah. I'm going to... Uh, to decide what is the best option for me. Because I have only three shrines in the reserve Let's see what other characters are available also a plus one during the calculation is good one try no exchanging coins for victory coins that's good if I have Oh, yes. <laughs> at the moment, I don't have. <laughs> I was thinking of exactly the same. 
uh, so but maybe the next round where the orange will be counted i can be in a good position so let's do let's try let's try this one uh, the number four which gives me some flexibility be between coins and prestige points so that was the last uh, effect from Jurgen's turn so now we are going to calculate uh, again the city scoring as said uh, Jurgen with the character ability as a six for the statue plus one for the priest which is seven Elisa has six I have three so Elisa uh, Jurgen will score 12 coins Elisa nine and six coins for me and then Jurgen will be the first to choose the reward token so now you have uh, one shrine from your soup from your board wherever you want the maharani uh, token three shrines from the supply and one coin and one prestige point <laughs> okay. I'm going to take this one. One and one. One plus one. Well, pretty easy. <laughs> Elisa? Okay. I will take this one. So I will take from the three shrines from the supply. So you leave me again with the Marani token to take, uh, or one shrine. So the Marani could be an option for later because I can use again the shrine for free from the supply. So yes, I'll take the Marani again. Moving a little bit closer to the table. Okay, so I take the Marani and I put the to Marani token to the character I just left behind. So, yes. so I know that I have the lower number card now. And also I can have those extra ability. So, uh, ragazzi, siamo online qui, eh? <laughs> we have we have Italian colleagues that likes to talk louder in dirty words. Okay, sorry, I <laughs> sorry, exit. Not, not, not much Italian online. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were using a, a pretty typical uh, uh, accent from Rome. So if, <laughs> if anybody from Rome listening, you should have... Uh, understood what, what they what they said but first of all next round it seems that the maharaja really enjoyed this orange city in the south nobody knows why probably for the climate or maybe so i go for, first again uh, for the sea for the sea for the short pretty short <laughs> i don't know it's a, it's near Goa, this city. So probably it's it's a Maharaja interested in uh, uh, yoga and uh, uh, massage. So <laughs> it will visit. It, it, it just decided to go back and visit it again. And again, we are going to choose the actions. So I have just nine. I still have one. What about Jürgen? Jürgen has 15. Jürgen has 15, yes. 
You make it sound like it's a lot. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Compared to but, us. But it's, so, but it's always less than needed. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Especially when you want to build two statues in the same round. Yes, pretty impossible. So also because this this time we do not have the the character available that discounts the the statues. Uh, the statues exactly. With this character, it's easier to do that. But without this character, it's pretty complex. Yeah, but yeah. in Italy we used to say it's not always Christmas. So. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, you, you just need to take what you can. <laughs> uh, what to do, what to do. Uh, ah, but I have this power. I can exchange victory points for, for coins. Uh, so three gives me six, so I will. I can go to fifteen. Oh, wonderful, wonderful! Uh, so I'm going to build. And after all, you you decide to <laughs> pursue my strategy yes. of losing victory point. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, because each statue uh, worth three victory points at the end of the game. So the more the more statue you, you build, the more uh, victory points you make. You make. Yes, I totally understand. This makes sense for me, but I don't know if uh, <laughs> it's good for the end of the game. What do you think, Simone? <laughs> <laughs> He has doubts. <laughs> Simone would go in the other direction. Okay, Elisa, you can choose your actions. Yes, sorry, I was saying a stupid thing and I forgot to flip that. And once you're done, I can reveal my actions. No, I can reveal my actions. Uh, you have, but I have a four. You have a no. six. Oh, you have a four. Oh, you're the speedy one. I, I, okay, I, took, I, the, I took the lower. I took the lower number specifically. I <laughs> said specifically to be first. Okay. To be first. Yes. So I'm going to flip and flip. Uh, but first of all, I'm going to discard, uh, using my character abilities, three victory, all my three victory points to gain six coins. Oh, you get, oh, you get a lot of money, that's true. But we remember that you don't win with the coins. <laughs> <laughs> plus six. Then, with the Maharani token there, I can build a shrine directly from the supply. And my uh, priest is here. So I'm going to put one pre, one, sh uh, one shrine here. Then, as a first action, I'm going to build one shrine, two shrines. So, first of all, oh, let me check again the, the money. So, 15 less. Uh, one, two, uh, 10. What's this action again? Uh, only one statue with a discount. So, I'm going to pay eight for that statue. It's seven, so yes, I have the money. Uh, let's hope. So the first action is to build two shrines, and it's minus two coins to place one shrine again on the road here down south. Then I move my priest, giving two coins to Jurgen. 
Thank you very much. So again, minus two for me and plus two for Jurgen. And I will build my second shrine. Uh, let's say here or back there. I don't know. Uh, one, two, three, four. Hmm. No, let, let's let's build it here. So let's say that when I was passing with my Merc priest here, I, I built the, 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 the shrine there. And then I will build my statue with a discount of two in a city not visited by the Maharaja. So I'm going to build to pay eight for the statue here uh, with an extra a bird token. Ooh. So I'm taking the bird token from the supply. I put it on my board and I don't use it now. And I, I still I need to pay my statue. So it's minus eight. And it's done for me. Then. Elisa? No, it's me. Oh, it's, uh, it's you. Ah, no, it's uh, Jorgen. Jorgen's turn. Sorry. So I'm going to put the green one over there. Hmm. And then. Okay, moving the flag. At this stage of the game, it's pretty uh, annoying for other players. <laughs> uh, well, I took your yeah, example. You took it from me, yeah. I, I got it. I'm going to go to the green city, and yes. I'm going to pay one to Elisa. Yes. OK, so I get one coin, right? Yes, and then I'm going to oh. pay uh, 10 minus 2, 8. That's really Please. appreciated, Jürgen. Uh, not, <laughs> no problem, no, really. I'm going to give you another one. <laughs> you saved my turn because I, I was thinking that I made the, the wrong calculation. The in the central space. Yeah. Yes, a little bit, a little bit for you. Thank you. Okay. And then I move my priest back to the orange one that we're doing, I guess. Yes. And that cost me one more. Yes. Thank you again. No. <laughs> <laughs> because you are using the long road here. God damn it. Right. I mean, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll explain a little bit uh, uh, a quick rule for the viewers. In this case, you're going to uh, move from the orange to the uh, green city. He had, he had two potential roads. The long one uh, on the side where the red village here, uh, where the red shrine is, or the road uh, connecting the blue city where he has three shrines, but in the last village, he has no shrine and we both, Elisa and I, as a shrine. So if he was doing this road, he should have paid one coin to Elisa plus one coin for me. So in this case, using the other road was the uh, more effective choice. So sometimes in this game, you have multiple uh, choice, multiple roads you can, uh, you can um, go through and you must carefully check which is the which is the uh, less expensive for you and uh, so it's to me now so it's elisa's okay elisa's turn it's to me and i said thanks to jürgen i'm not going to lose one action 
So, <laughs> <laughs> so basically, um, I will start building shrines. Okay. So. And your priest is currently. Uh, My priest at the moment is in the blue city. In the blue city. Okay. So I take the priest back. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I'm not. The priest wants to stay in the blue city. <laughs> exactly. Doesn't agree to move. <laughs> but, okay. The marriage is not coming. <laughs> <laughs> so doesn't make sense to wait there. So I will. Um, Where do you want to go? Okay, okay sorry. Uh, so we have the green and the yellow one. City. Okay. We first so, go to the green one, I guess. Yes, I will go to the green one. And I think that doesn't make sense to compete with the Jurgen because he has. Uh, too many points there, so it doesn't make sense to compete there. So I will not move to the green one, I'm sorry. I move to the uh, yellow one. Okay. Okay, I move to the yellow one. And there I will build one statue for the full cost. So in this case, it's uh, 10, exactly. And... Uh, um, I would be yeah. there. And th that's, that space gives you three coins, which is pretty, pretty. helpful <laughs> at, at the moment for, exactly. for all of us. <laughs> exactly. So I pay uh, 10 coins and then I get the three for the space. Mm. Additionally, I will build there a shrine. Shrine there, and uh, I will build also a second shrine. No, no, sorry, no. I will move to another city, and I will build one shrine here, and the other shrine on the road. So basically, I'm going to. Pay three coins for the three shrine shrines built. Okay. And you 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 built the, the shrine in this village where there was a, a blue a, a blue shrine. Exactly. Okay. No money for you. <laughs> because yeah, because you want yeah, one money from the other player. You such a greedy such a greedy one. <laughs> And that's it, I guess. You have performed both your actions. Uh, you free, you move your priest for free due to your character ability. So you, we can, we can check the majority in the uh, orange uh, city again, uh, where uh, we have uh, a red player, Elisa, with three points for the central statue. Uh, uh, me with uh, three shrine and a statue, which is five, and Jurgen with only the priest for one. So it will be 12 coins for me. Six for me. Six for Jurgen and nine for Elisa. And we're going to all still. Uh, Choose ah, ah, ah. fifteen coins. I have okay. So it's time to take back my victory points. So I choose this one and I pay one coin for one victory point up to three kind. So I'm going to pay. Three coins and get three prestige points. Then Elisa, you can take your reward. Okay, I will go for the three coins. 
okay. You're going to have a choice between two tiles. Or uh, two tiles, you mean? Uh, yeah, you can choose uh, yeah, between yeah. between these. And two what tiles. what does the 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 minute one do again? Uh, the the top one says uh, all the other players uh, to pay go. two coins, and yeah. this one you can build one shrine without paying the cost and without uh, the priest uh, need to be the, in the city. Uh, okay. But you should take it from your uh, supply, okay. from your board. We'll do that, I guess. Okay. So once again, we move the flag tile for the next round and the Maraja will go back to the green city. So from the hot shores of the south to the cold <laughs> places in the mountains up north where Jürgen already have a lot of pieces. <laughs> Elisa too, and I think I'm going to <laughs> be last on that calculation. Okay, so again, choose the action for the next round. And I uh, remember, well, I remind you that I have one bird token for so, next action. So I could uh, perform an extra action during this, turn, which cannot be changing the character. Okay, so again, the Marani token go back and. I should be first again because I have the four. Okay. Uh, ha, ha, ha. Hmm. This one. And 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 <laughs> one of the last round. Uh, Yes, I think I'm going to do this one. Okay. You go first. Are we ready? Okay. Yes. I'm going to perform two exchange <laughs> actions. So the character exchange action and the flag exchange action so first of all let's try this so now the marja is on that one okay very 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 hard uh, um okay so i'm going to perform first the uh, flag action and I'm going to move back the white so it's one, two, three 
and uh, I remind to all the players that uh, the flag stay there until the end of the round. So uh, usually, okay. usually in, in this game we always move the, the the flag back immediately, but instead we should have wait until the end of the round. So okay. he actually is moving three back and. And the tire stays back. You just move tires immediately if uh, the flag you move would cover another tile. In that case, you slide all the all the other tiles uh, uh, back. But in this case, since I'm covering a, a, a free space, the tile stays there. Okay. I did not know. Then uh, I'll change the character. But first, I'm using my ability to uh, to uh, exchange coins for uh, victory points, and I will pay, let's say, four coins. No, is it limitless? No, it's uh, up to three. But I, so, I don't want to sp spend the six coins uh, because probably I would need that eight coins. Uh, and then, I'll, so I gain just two victory points. Then I exchange my character, which is, sorry, Elisa's character now. <laughs> I knew that. So you have to pay for movement, eh? <laughs> no. So what a bad my idea. priest uh, is currently here. And actually, I don't know where to place it. Ah, okay, now we are, yeah, now we are checking this city. So first of all, I'm going one, two, three, without paying here. And I will use my extra token, so my bird token, to perform the action building a statue with a discount. So I will pay all my remaining coins, which, so it's minus eight. And I'll build the statue in the, what does this say? One coin and one, uh, okay, I go here, one shrine without paying the cost, but I have to take it from my board, so. No problem, I take it and I place it. Uh, here because with the last, I go back to and I no, I put my merchant. Not my <laughs> I was thinking, where is that Mo statue going? Moving, sta moving statues are probably for the expansion. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Simone, have you planned a uh, uh, flying uh, statues expansion? It's Not possible. <laughs> it's, it's possible. <laughs> Everything's possible. Top secret for the moment. <laughs> so I'm done. Okay, so basically now I have to choose my character. Okay. Yes. First, of, first of all, you have to, to choose okay. a, a new character, and you also have this one available. Okay, so in this case, I think that I will go for this one because I want to play first then uh, the Jurgen, and so I will go with these that just let me take one shrine from the general reserve supply. Okay. okay. So after that, I will move my priest through here. And I reveal. I, will... I reveal your action for. Okay. Uh, Yes, sorry. <laughs> so basically, I uh, move. Build, build two statue with the discount. Okay. That's exactly. Pretty, pretty but you first move. pay me two, yeah? So 
So I decide I, I build my first statue oh, here. Oh, oh. First you pay me two. Yes, exactly. And then and I one, think and that I from did Indiana as well. <laughs> yes, and I did also a bad calculation because the uh, action, additional action token I can use it but in the next round, not in this one. Correct? Uh, well, no, actually you can use it in the same round. Uh, okay, so this is a good use round, for yeah. me. So but I pay three. So right. I Okay, and I place my statue here. I get so I get one of these nice birds, and I use it immediately if I can. So I will get back the the three coins. <laughs> so basically, and you are performing your first action. So you move your priest there, but you. you and I have to pay the statue. So I have to pay eight. And, uh, and did you did you have to pay someone for the movement or not? No. I've pay, I paid you and uh, one to you and two to Jurgen. Okay, I so I gain one coin. Exactly. Okay, so after that, I'm moving my priest down there. I don't know if it's a wise move for me to um well if you build the last statue you will uh, end the game at the end of this round and not at the end of the next round so exactly if you build so your I last think... statue you will end the game yes i will do that i don't know if it's wise because i'm not sure that i'm going to win this way but i will <laughs> do that anyway okay so i build my last statue <laughs> and okay. i'm done so and you I pay, pay, also, you sorry, pay all your coins, and the last thing is you have to decide if you want to move your priest, but it's, I, I don't know, it's, uh, you don't have no. the money to, to, to. I to, cannot reach up the, up to the green city, so it doesn't make sense. No, okay, I leave it there. Okay, that was a power play. Yeah, mm -hmm. unexpected, totally unexpected. Thank you. <laughs> I move the white flag. The next city will be the white. So I, I, I need to know something about scoring. Only statues count in city, or how does it work exactly? Uh, sorry, can you repeat? Uh, how does the scoring work at the end? At the end, so each statue built will score uh, will uh, value uh, will uh, worth uh, three victory points. And then for each city, uh, only the first player, so only the player who has the majority in that city scored two points. Okay. And uh, there is uh, uh, one more coin for each five coins left in your board, on your board. And my character still counts as plus one? For uh, the... No, the characters won't count uh, for the final score. So the character mm. will be used for the current round scoring, but not for the final uh, scoring. Okay. So I just want to say that uh, Simone left because of a technical pro problem. So just wanted to say bye to everybody. Okay, no worries. So I was going to move the red one before, but I didn't know about extra space. But I'll put the yellow front in front. Yeah, I was expecting that from you. <laughs> <laughs> and then I can play two shrines. Uh, but the shrines don't count in majorities, or, or do they? Yes, uh, yes. Uh, well, actually, uh, mm -hmm. the majority is still calculating, uh, is still scored uh, calculating both the statues and shrines. Okay, and how do you... And, uh, and also the priest, so also the, the last uh, space where you left your, where you leave your priest counts okay. for the final scoring. Okay. But so, it, 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 it's only worth it if you will be the first in, in a city. So, you, okay, doesn't matter if you're, uh, if I have nothing or, or second, you still have... Exactly, zero. exactly. And what in the case of... Uh, when in case of a tie, in yeah. case of a tie, both players score only one point instead of two. Okay. So that means my priest. Um... I don't 
Elisa took her revenge, I guess, because <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm trying to calculate in some of the majority in the end, and she has a lot of city. It is true, but I'm going to deny some of it, I fear. So <laughs> I know. I imagine that. But I... Does money do anything at the end? Uh, yes, yeah, so one point and every five coins left. So one there. And I moved my priest over there. Uh, and I put one here. So we should be at a tie. Yes. And I go with this one over here and we should be at a tie. And that's it. Okay. So first of all, the current round scoring. Up in the north, in the green area, we have... Uh, you still have the uh, have power, the ability of... Yeah. So yellow it. first, red second. Yes. And uh, me third. So again, uh, 12 coins, 9 coins, 6 coins for me. I take the 2 points. And also, yes, you, you have to uh, take the reward. Elisa choose and ch can choose. Sorry, another. I cannot see really very well, so I'm zooming. Okay, so we I have the, Everybody else... Uh, Lose two coins, okay. Now I will go for this one, so I get one coin and one victory point. Yep. Yeah, it's a pretty weird decision, leaving me, me with three shrines, uh, three worthless shrines. So I'm going for this one. <laughs> All of you loses, lose uh, two, coins. two coins. That's okay, I had to despair. And we are done. So Elisa triggered at the end of the game before the seventh round uh, because she has built her last statue. So first of all, we are going to uh, give some victory points uh, for the end game scoring. So first of all, three victory points for every statue that you have built. So. Me and you are going to build five statues, so we gain uh, 15. No, sorry. Elisa gains uh, 21. No, not, not coins. Not coins? Because <laughs> 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 Just a little bit of confusion about coins and victory points. <laughs> it's still, she's still in the process of <laughs> what's more valuable, coins <laughs> or prestige? <laughs> so if you are done with your switching, <clears throat> we can, uh, uh, yeah, easily, uh, the, 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 the easier is uh, one victory points for every five coins. So I have 10 coins left, so I'm going to zero coins for two victory points. I get five. I can get only one victory point because I have eight, so I go to three and I get one. Okay. So just for the record, now you have 30, you're going to have 27. And no, I, I have, have 19. Have to add my, I still have to add my five. <laughs> okay, so yeah, during, yeah, just an advice for all the gamers collect some victory points during the game, could be, could be an advantage for the end game. Uh, because you basically have, uh, yeah, more than 10, more than 10. Uh, yes, before starting yeah. the, the final scoring. <laughs> Final scoring for the cities. So city by city, we will see who will be the uh, winner. So for the red, for the green city, we have uh, Jürgen as uh, 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 the winner. So two more points for Jürgen. 
Then we go to the Yellow City. In the Yellow City, Elisa is the first player with three points. Two, one, two, point. two points. Two points, sorry. Uh, red here, we have a tie. So Elisa, one point, and Jurgen, one point. Then we have this city on the middle right where I am the winner with my only statue. So I get the two coins for that. If we go to the middle left, uh, again, there is a tie between the red and the yellow. So one for each. I will score two points for the uh, for the city in the Orange south world. in the southwest, and Elisa will score two more for the southeast white city. So I will reach the honorable honorable third position with twenty three <laughs> victory points and. Uh, Oh god. You tied it. What what that what just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody cheated. I don't know who. <laughs> it was 36 just a second ago. Now it's 37. Elisa, give, give us some explanation. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> so if it's a tie, the one who has the most gold wins perhaps. So that she, uh, that she wins. Yeah, the, the, first, uh, the first winning condition is the player who has built more statues. Okay. So, Elisa, uh, in, in, in both cases, Elisa is the yeah. tight winner for this game. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, it's a tight, so we are. Very well. So, very, very well played, guys. Uh, yeah. Jurgen, it's been a pleasure and, uh, and an honor fight fight with you uh, <laughs> i'm uh, i'm glad I, I i i did some pretty good and uh, uh unexpected move during the, the game so i i you completely i, I, I know that you guys hated me for a while in the middle of the game <laughs> but in the end it didn't pay it off yeah so, victory point is important yeah, yeah. Too too but many points very... left left behind in the in the mid game. Okay, so I take a picture, smile. <laughs> <laughs> third, third for me. Okay, so we so we can uh, uh, invite Rosita back to the uh, live uh, for uh, for giving the last. Uh, uh, Salute to the viewers again, Jurgen. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. It's been a pleasure as well. It's a great game. <laughs> but <laughs> we know we know that. So I think I missed something. Something happened. Who won in the end? Elisa, Elisa with a pretty tiebreaker. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a tie. It's a tie. So. Because Girl I gave power. a two point. I really very fun game. game, I think, yeah, because both... we struggled a lot, so it was really very funny. Great. Yeah, actually, she she did a a, a last uh, unexpected move that well completely uh, flipped uh, flip the plans <laughs> the plans uh, the, 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 the plans for me and Jurgen. Well, more for Jurgen because it was <laughs> it was going to win the game if if we. If we if we had played another round, it's not certain because uh, all the cities we were going, I was very bad badly placed. Yellow and purple were not my thing. So, ah oh well, <laughs> next time I guess. I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> next time. <laughs> no worries. I enjoyed myself. Well, so I have to give a shout out to Simone, who left the game due to technical issues. Uh, someone said he was very very fine looking today. <laughs> 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 okay. 
So. He, he has an admirer. It's a plus yeah. for a game designer. <laughs> <laughs> right. Sorry, I, I interrupted you, Jurgen. Uh, no, 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 no worries. I, I was done. But thank you for the, uh, the possibility to play. I look forward to a, a repeat sometime in the future. I will get my revenge. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. Maybe next time I can play too. Well, yeah. should, I, should I be afraid? Should I be afraid? <laughs> no, no, absolutely <laughs> oh, not. <laughs> Okay. So well, yeah, okay. thank you all for for playing with us. Uh, thank you, Jurgen, and uh, um, thank you all viewers for uh, joining us in this uh, live stream. And uh, we'll see you next Thursday at four thirty p.m. So all bye, right. guys. Have a great one. Take care. Bye, everybody. Bye. Thank bye. you. So